Dave, you've uh, you've acquired some equipment that is uh, that is fairly important for the safety of the fishermen. Yes, um, as a association, we got together and uh, because we're working uh, within the wind farm areas and close to them, so we could uh, be tracked ourselves and also track other vessels. A system called the AIS. Uh, can be used. It's fairly expensive, um, but we're very glad to say that Stat Oil um, gave us all one, and this was all presented to us uh, at a cost of Stat Oil, and we're very grateful to them. What does the equipment actually mean? What, what does it mean in terms of, uh, of safety? Well, it, it means that uh, apart from all your basic uh, electronics, you can look on the screen. It'll tell you who's coming and bearing on you, as in another vessel. So it would say like the Mia Blue is coming in from the nor'east at such a speed. It'll also tell them what we're doing fishing. It'll also be able to tell them how many people are on board. And they'll be able to relay this back to the wind farms where the fast cats are travelling about at excessive speeds and make it safer for us to work. It's a little bit like air traffic control then to some degree. Very similar, very, very similar. And that's probably, especially when you're getting into poor visibility and, and uh, the evenings and so on, that must take a lot of strain and a lot of worry off the skippers. Oh, it does. It takes a lot of weight, uh, worry off us. Um, and there's been a lot of animosity in parts towards the system because everyone knows where you are, but then the system that we have on our uh, largest vessel is we can plot you wherever you are 24 hours a day and doogle it down and we've got you anyway. So it's irrelevant now, it's mainly purely so you know who's coming, the bearing and the speed and you can work round them or you know when you can shoot them. And as being static working it's quite imperative you know these. It's also going to mean as well that, that there's some, some opportunities for dispute resolution so if, if your equipment has been damaged by perhaps something that's around one of the wind farms or whatever, you're going to be able to say where and when. Oh, it'll do a multitude of things. It'll do that exactly because it'll always position you. Um, it'll be able to tell you exactly where you're fishing. So there's no arguments from that point of view. And um, I think the fishermen will get treated a lot fairly with the sound evidence behind them. Um, you, you sway forward. Sorry, you, you must be pleased as well, not cheap equipment, and, it, and it's good that somebody else has stepped forward to pay for it. Oh, I was very pleased. You know, um, I forget what they worked out a piece, 700 or 800 pound a piece, something like that. Um, and the fishermen are going to have them fitted themselves. Charlie here uh, was one of the first to get one, um, and he's now bought a brand new catamaran, and he's pleased that he'll be able to have that incorporated with his electronic system. It's the operators of the wind farm who, who have, have coughed the money and, and held their hands up to try and help the local community. Without a doubt. They can sit in their offices at Egmere and they can now track any vessel going in or near that wind farm and, uh, and call us up or talk to us if need be. Dave, you haven't always been the, uh, the greatest friend <laughs> of the wind farms. That, 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 in fairness, they've called you bluff a little bit on this one. Well, they're having a way. Um, I can be a good friend when things come along at the right angle, <laughs> but at the end of the day, um, I think us and the rest of the fishermen here have realised that uh, we'll stand our ground and um, treat us fairly, that's all we asked. You've got to work together. We have got to work together, we've realised that and uh, I think Stat Oil have realised it. <laughs>